Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some really bad news going on when it comes to a lot of Sony employees that have actually been harassed and just kind of really a lot of folks going off the deep end when it comes to just a random partnership that has kind of come on out. Now, we've been seeing a lot of drama, especially in regards to some stuff like with, let's say, Bungie going on with all the communities, and it's not been a really cool thing to see. Now, online, we do know a lot of folks are pretty crazy and just not good like they're not typically in a good mind space and some people are just probably people i myself would not want to have a sit down beer with and interact with so whenever we kind of see these stories my heart always goes out to pretty much everyone involved because it just never seems like an actually fun experience to go through also excuse any coughs too as well because i'm still feeling underneath the weather but when it comes with all this stuff, it's just not a good time, it's just not a good vibe, and this is not what I like to see, especially in the gaming universe. Especially in my mind, too, because I think a lot of gamers shouldn't be harassing other folks or harassing developers who are pretty much trying to put other folks down, too, as well. So we're going to talk about this somewhat sad story that's been happening and I'm going throughout these past few weeks, and hopefully a lot of you guys will never do this yourselves and as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway we have the amazon links down below the twitter and twitch stream as well if you guys would like to go and follow we also do have the weeble coinbase and target links we do highly recommend the target links we have some pretty good stuff going on with that and also the howl links too as well and let's dive into the video itself so there's been kind of a bad story going on with this it's been ongoing throughout these past like two or three months or so and this is all in regards to a lot of Sony employees, or as well, also Bungie employees, as you guys know. Sony did go and buy Bungie itself, and well, all this stuff put together is not a fun experience. It's not a good vibe. So, we are going to talk about this, and it's not, well, just, no, don't do this, please. Like, I'm sure a lot of my community and subscribers, you guys are all mostly cool people. I can tell from my YouTube comments, my tweets, Twitch comments, or whatever it may be. Uh, so I don't think I have to give you guys a warning, but it's just sad to see this. So Bungie employees are also Sony employees as of now. Have not been reportedly doxxed and also had a lot of just really bad things in regards to racial stuff and other threats too as well all put together. And this is first and foremost in the gaming community. Should never be a thing. Now, uh, thankfully, it does seem like all these situations have been kind of dealt with and that's kind of more of the positive twist because <laughs> no one wants to have a you know video talk about this type of stuff. Uh, it does kind of seem like a lot of these things have been more so put systems in place to fix, uh, put systems in place to make sure it's not going to happen again, and ideally with a lot more things in terms of legal and in terms of other things tied on in, it should ideally turn down a lot of this issue. So, employees at Bungie have been reportedly became the victims of harassment in June. The harassment would lead to employees being doxxed and also bombarded with all these other various awful things too as well, especially even things like phone calls and text messages. And this all reportedly began thanks to a tweet in celebration of working with a popular Destiny 2 player. Now, if you guys actually don't know about this type of stuff, Bungie has been pretty involved with their community. They'll do, like, community highlights and showcases, and they'll go and showcase up other folks that are, like, a part of the community. Let's say someone does a lot of lore videos, or someone just really popular in the PvP section, or maybe, you know, the world's first raid. Because as I'm sure you guys know, if not, Destiny does, like, a brand new raid about every few times a year. So whenever someone wins, they like to give attention, give out tweets, find out their accounts, you know, and give them lots of love. So basically for this is kind of what they do. They do community spotlights all the time. Their harassment started after one of the Bungie's employees tweeted about their new collaboration with an African-American streamer. It's called Amaze. Well, they said that correctly. In early June for their game, Destiny 2 reports the record. This tweet would lead to doxing and death threats towards several Bungie employees too as well. And it kind of stinks because all this tweet is just very, very, like, very tame. Like, it's not necessarily bad at all. So it's like we have his tweet over here saying, when you believe in a company that believes in you, this is my story. And as well as we have the Destiny the game, what's your Destiny 2 story? Guardian and streamer Omaze shares his in a way only he can. Share yours with the hashtag myD2 story to as well. And this is kind of where a lot of this kind of bad comments, bad everything kind of chimed on in. I do think the very large majority of the community was very supportive, where it's like, let's go, I'm excited, let's see what you're about to go and do and can pull off and everything, and I'm on that same boat. I like seeing things that are hype, I like seeing things that are exciting, I like seeing people kind of bringing up other folks too as well when it comes to gaming and gaming as a whole. I like the vibe of people who deserve attention, and they're usually hopefully pretty good, uh, you know, reports too as well, but they're pretty much hopefully going to be good people in the community. And so the fact that we've had a lot of folks in comments either hating on this, 
bringing negative attention and vibes towards this, or of all just kind of acting like weird Twitter trolls, which happens on Twitter, don't get me wrong, is somewhat of a disappointing thing. Mainly because when it comes to Destiny, you usually kind of see a lot of wholesome vibes, you see a lot of charity events going on, you see people having each other's backs, you know, you, people are making friends and finding raid groups and all of that, which is cool, like, we like that. But it does kind of stink because at the end of the day, it doesn't seem like it's the most consistent thing because, like, you can't control every bad apple, you can't control every person, and to go and fine-tune just some select bad individuals, obviously that's not speaking for the whole community. But I am a little bit disappointed just in the whole, like, general vibes of the Bungie and Destiny 2 type vibes, where just a lot of folks are just not intrigued, not happy, not acting cool, and it's just not a fun experience to go and see. So these are just all the initial reports. So the tweets were received, a reply threatening to, you know, mm, some employees on June 14th, which, first and foremost, we could all collectively agree, I think a lot of people watching are adults, like, for over a video game, and also also over promotion, like, that just, come on. Like, even, come on, come on now. And this was reportedly followed up by Bungie employees, and also getting, you know, voicemails and text on their own personal phones, and also someone using, like, anonymous phone numbers and calling apps and stuff like that, too, as well. And some folks were even finding the personal phone lines of the employees who were, like, posting the tweets and trying to be celebratory and having a good vibe going on. And after all this stuff, it was just really awkward because it's like, number one, that's just a scary situation to be in. Number two, it's not a good vibe. Number three, it kind of almost makes you worried about even being a part of like this type of thing in the future as a content creator. I'd probably almost myself would be scared of it. It's gonna be, although I'd probably still do it regardless. And like, come on, like you're just an employee at a company and you're just, you don't want to have to deal with this at the end of the day. So, and if the caller used also racial slurs and requested Destiny 2 include, uh, you know, just a lot of just awful things. Like, they just included want to have different things and different scenes and different DLCs, too, as well. And even the employee spouse, which is also a Bungie employee, received also a same exact request, too, as well, through text. So, these have these really awful, like, people. They're just, like, harassing Sony employees, and I'm just, like, just disappointing. It's a really disappointing vibe to go and see this. And as well... Someone using that same exact phone number, so it just was a troll. Like, obviously it doesn't, you know, make it less worse, but it was just a troll going over here where they were trying their best now to, un like, order a bunch of pizzas to the couple's homes and after leaving voicemails saying, like, hey, enjoy your pizza, and then, like, you know, wasting company's time, wasting money, food waste, and probably expecting them to have to go pay for the pizza in the first place as well. Like, it just... Like, it seems like someone's just interacting with, like, a 10-year-old or just someone who just never grew up. And, like, you don't want to deal with this type of stuff. So this event reportedly led to them calling the police to file them a report, which I think is kind of rightfully so. A Twitter user named Inkcell was also making threats at the same time online and tweeted a photo of a Bungie employee's staff ID card to, so, like, their information is being showcased and leaked and... It's just obnoxious. Like, I, I hate whenever people in the gaming community do this, because I think, like, 99% of folks who are in, involved in the gaming community are awesome people. Like, they're good folks. Like, you guys watching this video are probably awesome, awesome people. And then you have this one random person or a group of bad people that kind of make the whole gaming community sound a lot worse and not as cool. So, basically, you guys can see they also were tweeting that they'd move to a live uh, 30 minutes away from these employees, too, as well. And then two employees took to using a court order to get the texting app to release the name of the person that was actually threatening them. Which, obviously, at this point, like, if they're being this selective and kind of know their address and stuff, like, you almost kind of have to do that for your own safety. So, basically, this is not a new thing for the gaming community, which is kind of lame to say. And unfortunately, it's quite common. Many associates doxing with streamers, but it has happened in multiple gaming communities, including toward a game developers, for years. And earlier a month as well, there's even like a hotline now put in place for streamers who are having issues too on top of this. And it does kind of seem like Destiny 2 has been in the news for a lot of bad things when it comes to both their acquisition, which is technically good, but a lot of the suing for people hacking in games and people having like fraudulent uh, like YouTube things, claims for like music and soundtracks and stuff. And just everything's been kind of all over the place when it comes to the Destiny vibe. So this is kind of just sad to see. I think a lot of folks are pretty upset with this, uh, myself included. It just is a dumb situation that in this day and age just shouldn't have to go and happen. And I feel bad for the employees that were involved because I don't think gaming should be like this. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. We have the Target links in case you guys want to go and check those on out and see if there's any stock available. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.